Now right, y'all back at it. Let's get it. Do the grace of the most high in the name. Of our Lord and Savior, the Messiah, Yeshua, Adonai, all right? Um, this is just in regards to the times, off the strength of um, the precepts that I just shared and also just the current events and things that's going on and will be going on. And it's just pressing on my spirit, feel me? So I start jotting down some notes and that's what led to those precepts that I just shared. So I think the most high. Um, and all praises, glory, honor be unto him, all right? Serious times we in, all right? So I don't really even know where to start with this because I just start jotting all over the place on this little note. <laughs> you see that? Feel me? I was just right, man. But ultimately, y'all, um, Jacob's trouble, we woke now. You understand what I'm saying? And, and that play a major role in <laughs> the time we in and the current events and things that's going on. I am already mentioned that they're scared and that they're afraid. Also, off the strength of what's going on, that many of our people are going to be faced with the fact and realize that, they, you know, they, they got to def pretty much defend themselves, you know what I'm saying, or at least feel like they're going to feel like they have to. Um, I believe the current events going on with the rise and stuff is, a, is definitely, it's a setup, man. I pray our people don't fall into it, feel me. You know what I'm saying? I believe in regards to this virus stuff that was going on, man, they, they, they was able to pull and bring the military in. You know what I'm saying? They had reason to in regards to that. And, and and now all of a sudden this cop thing and, you know, go down, the brother get murdered, man. And um, now these rides everywhere and it's mixed crowds in the rides. You feel me? And I've heard, you know, that there's people going out there starting joint and then leaving. And then there's our folks left out there wilding, you know, so we got to be wiser than that, sharper than that. A lot of our people going to fall into it and a lot of pe our people going to fall, man. You feel me? But, um, off the strength of the times, you know what I'm saying? It's an unease, an uneasiness I feel at times, man. Just how paranoid and how scared people are. You know what I'm saying? It was somebody I heard in my hometown um, murdered a guy, got too close to him. This was during the uh, virus situation and uh, killed him, murdered the person. And I just knew in my spirit, I said, man, that, I said, was a guy black that got shot uh, you know actually i knew it was a white shooter i just knew in my spirit man like at the store because off of fear you know what i'm saying so a lot of these people out here man trusting in their arms they trusting in their weapons they trusting in their guns and as i was thinking about that and seeing this you know and um you know a lot of people um a lot of the people who think they salvation gonna come through their arms their arms are going to be their salvation, and they're going to think that's the way they're going to be saved and or save themselves, you know, which, I, you know, you're going to have to protect yourself and protect your family, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that what a, what a man is supposed to do, you know what I'm saying, provide and, and provide security for your family and your household, you know what I'm saying? But in this time we are in, man, there's people walking around who in utmost fear, you know what I'm saying? And it's predominantly, from what I'm seeing, you know, it's, it's all nations, but... The people who are on the edge, ready to kill and ready to shoot, man. It, who's saying it out of their own mouths, man. It's these other nations, man. You know, and it's kind of wild, man. You know, um, I was told recently someone was out and about at the store. And then the white guy shouted out, if they come near my car with my pregnant wife, I'm going to kill them. There wasn't no problem out there. There wasn't no drama. There wasn't nothing going on. But it was just some black people out there. And they yelled that out. So off the note of the racial tension and stuff like that, I ain't got no problem with white folks, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's just that. And anybody who know me personally, they know that, you feel me? Because this is go way beyond the color thing. But what I got to say to um, the Gentiles is, um, you know, we're going to really see where you really stand in these times, man, when you see God's people being afflicted. And I'm saying God's people because that's who we are. We are the children of Israel. When you see the oppression of Jacob, when you see the persecution, when you see these things come to pass, it's really going to show where you at. And and, and, and y'all going to be judged just like, you know, um, everybody else or how we how you treated God's people. We even going to be judged on how we treated one another, you know, but, you know, so. When I see the hatred, man, and, and it's, it's manipulated, you know what I'm saying? I did a video a while back about domination, and this is the season we in. It's domination, how they killed and murdered that brother. And um, people saying, oh, he, the brother died. He ain't died. He got murdered. You know what I'm saying? He got murdered. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? You know? 
Um, and that ain't he ain't the only one, but I'm just saying, man, it's a shame. You feel me? We tired of hearing that. I know I am. It's like, what do you do? You know? So I'm praying to the most high God, according to scripture, that I enter not into temptation, that we enter not into temptation. And that need to be the prayer of the saints, praying that we enter not into temptation. I pray to God that we don't. Um, you know what I'm saying? But it just shows that our people in a defenseless state is is just preyed on. You know what I'm saying? So off the strip of what I just said, I believe in the, I believe that more blacks gonna be buying guns than never legally. They're gonna legally be getting their guns and things like that. I believe that's gonna increase in the way they track everything. They're gonna know, hey man, these black folks is buying guns left and right and bullets, you know. And off the strip of what I just they said, I don't receive two witness in regards to people and, and I'm not talking about Israel, I'm not talking about our people buying bullets galore. You know what I'm saying? Bullets galore. I don't have multiple witness sources don't even know each other. And and with that being said, it's like, what are they preparing for? It's like, we trying to get food. We trying to eat. But they preparing to defend what they got. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, is this time, the time we really in? Like, because I'm not pressed to be doing anything. You feel me? But if people looking at me like I'm a threat, like ain't no threat to them. You know what I'm saying? I wish everybody the best. I don't want no drama, no problems. You know what I'm saying? I gave my life to the Lord, feel me? You know what I'm saying? And many of us like that. But because of how we look, man, you feel me? Just off the strength of the hatred operating, the devil know who we are. You know what I'm saying? So I think the most high for his angels that he have given charge of us to keep us in all our ways. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that's we're going to have to lean and trust on the word to proclaim these scriptures into existence because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So even if you do have um, carnal weapons, you know what I'm saying? Which, which like I said, you know, a sword or swords either way you can't trust in them you know what i'm saying but what what this revealed to me was that more black what was real to me more black folks gonna be getting guns more than ever and this is gonna have them jokers on edge but they already know that because they need us to they they need our fools go out here act a fool then they need the statistics saying that okay they buying guns they doing this they play they trying to do this that, and they gonna try to intervene and whatever that intervention is i don't know i don't know if it's gonna be some gun control type thing or they predominantly just trying to de-arm black people like they got to label us a threat and then de-arm citizens but it's not probably i don't believe it's going to be all citizens i really don't because if they try to de-arm all citizens they're going to have a problem and i already heard things of how um many of the white folks are saying they ain't giving up their guns they saying they ain't taking no vaccination they talking about they the door ready to let loose if them jokers try to come up in there this not our people saying that. i'm not hearing that you know what i'm saying i ain't heard you know in that regard you know what I'm saying? So I've been quiet for a little while, man. Just been listening and scoping this stuff out. But I believe they got the military here for this reason and the reason that we fin we f we about to see. You understand what I'm saying? But they, you know, I believe they're going to try to de-arm our people. And um, you know, let me see here. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if you look at all the cops that's killing killing um innocent people um you understand what i'm saying and you look at the situations and how they escalate some of them are provoked some of the scenarios the cops ain't provoked at all the people did everything they told them to do you know what i'm saying which shows like a statement being made you understand they want us to fear you feel me now the most high god ain't gave us no spirit of fear i want everybody to know and understand that the most high god have not given us the spirit of fear so if they think that all our people going to fear they wild and if they think all believers in christ are going to fear they are wild and we not like the most high ain't gave us their spirit feel me we know he fighting for us you know what i'm saying and whatever we have even if we throwing a rock boy that thing could knock yeah y'all know where i'm getting that in the spirit let's get it but anyway um but they they not attacking those who can defend themselves and that's just the truth you look at it they de-arm them first then they attack them they de-arm them first then they murder them they pin them down they choke them out they put their knees on their neck once they are de-armed. Once, you know what I'm saying? And that's what's, that's what's wild. You know, if you're respecting the order and doing what you're told, you know what I'm saying? You're like, hey, ain't no problem. You, put hand behind, you, do, you do what you're supposed to do, you know? And really, we got to leave it in the most of our hands, man, because we don't know. But these jokers praying on our people, man, and, and, and they think by force that they can actually force us into submission. That's the psychoticness of it. That ain't happening. You know what I'm saying? Our people can't stand being forced to do anything, even if it's for our own good. You know, you tell somebody to stop 
eating something that's killing them or doing something that's killing them and just because they feel like they forced to do it they won't do it our people just just set on what we set on and one thing we ain't trying to have is nobody control us but if our people fear you understand that then our people get right on in to the manipulation you see so they're trying to pump that fear out why they already didn't summon the spirit of fear in the earth at the greatest level has ever been probably you know what i'm saying they're trying to you come off the strength of that and have our people fear well it is what it is but they're not attacking those who can defend themselves listen to that you understand that they the armor then they had a way with them right and the key is that they trust in their arms we don't trust in our arms or don't supposed to be let me not say that uh, i'm i'm not going to trust in no sword as in the scripture I, I referenced earlier neither my bow but if you see david had a bow david had a sword Peter them had swords. You understand what I'm saying? But we ain't trusting that because the weapons are warfare, not carnal. We ain't trusting that. We trust in the Most High God to deliver us, and He's gonna do it. So those who set themselves at enmity with us doing so, and we serving the Most High God and obeying Him, then they got a problem with Him, and they're gonna make Him rise up and handle some things. So, however, may the Most High will be done. I'm just putting that out to let y'all know that we, the Most High, is with us. You feel me? All right. So they trust in their arms, right? And I put, they not going to give theirs up. They too scared to give them up, man. You feel me? You imagine if they had to give up their guns, right? And I'm not just talking about cops. I'm talking about the folks out here on this racist note, man. They are not going to give up their guns, man. They'll be terrified if they had to give up their guns. You feel me? They buddies and stuff is cops. They're going to have guns. They're going to have their guns. They're going to have their bullets. They're going to, if they go de-armed folks and stuff, man, there's going to be certain people running around here with guns. Everybody else going to be like, pray, we're going to need the most high God. You understand? And you got to trust in him. Believe me, you got to. Because these jokers, man, are on a mission. Feel me? And at this point and at this rate, like I said, if this be Jacob Trouble, it's only going to heat up. It's only going to intensify until that, that deliverance manifests, which will manifest. Okay? The most high God is going to deliver us right in front of their faces. And they ain't gonna be a dude, they're gonna be watching, man. Oh, they're gonna be watching and they can't do nothing. They're gonna be defenseless completely. Praise the most high God. Alright, so they not gonna give up their guns because they too scared, right? But they must make the world think that we are a threat. They must make the they must make the whole world think that black people are a threat. And the ultimate target is gonna be Jacob, the children of Israel, minorities. You know what I'm saying? And then from there. The church, true believers, and they ain't going to be all so-called believers. They want the true non-compromising believers. That's the target. So believers need to stand up too. Why when you see in Jacob persecuted, understand it's going to seep its way to you. You feel me? You understand that? Because that's they're trying to take complete belief in the Most High God out of the earth. And Jacob is a light to the world. So they want to deal with Jacob, and then they, got, they feel like they got the church under their thumb anyway. Because y'all love, love, love it, love it, love it, you know, for the most part. And don't believe that you have to defend yourself. You don't believe you have to protect your family. You don't believe in the reality you finna face. You know what I'm saying? But the times are till, okay? All right. So, uh... All right, so yeah, they think that uh, they need the world to know or need the world to think that we are a threat. So they will, perpetra they will portray this and do what they got to do. Same way they did... With every other country out here who they wanted to go to war with, they made us believe that they was a threat, then they went to war with them. So y'all need to understand the same tactics that uh, that's used here against these other nations, they're doing the same thing against us now on a uh, nation level as far as a people group. You feel me? And nations shall rise against nation. You know what I'm saying? So this is the time we in, man, and it's people already talking about leaving the country and stuff like that who ain't from here originally. These people are trying to go back to their, to their land. This, this prophecy, yo. Feel me like because they looking at like, okay, this can happen at any time. I'm not safe here, I gotta go. But we, where do we go? See, we gotta pray to the most high God for the deliverance which He promised us, and He will deliver us. All right, so um, uh, they use this virus thing to bring in the military for the purpose we will soon see. The weapons of our warfare, not carnal, as I mentioned earlier, but mighty through God, Allah, to the pulling down of strongholds. You understand what I'm saying? And the messed up, the sad part about this is our people is divided. If our people was not this divided. This wouldn't work. But our people are so divided, they able to do what they're doing now. And it's sad because if we keep the two greatest commandments, we will be all right. 
Love the most I got with all heart, mind, body, and soul. You understand what I'm saying? And love our neighbor as ourselves. But we sitting here loving everything else. People loving dogs and animals more than they loving their own brother. You understand what I'm saying? Feel me? You know, we have supposed to have more compassion for one another. We're supposed to be able to work together. But everybody's so selfish and self-centered. You know what I'm saying? We can't even come together. Everybody trying to stunt and shine on one another. We can't even come together and be the true light we need to be to the world. But we will. The elect will come together we will be the light that we ordain to be up in this earth and we are that you understand what i'm saying but our people are divided and the groups representing our people are ran by snakes vagabond jews you understand that and off the strength of that nurse who has shared what was going on in the hospital in regards to this virus thing and how they were murdering black folks and labeling it was the virus you know but it was they were she had murdered black folks, and she would test me. She know what to do. She reached out to these black organizations and groups supposed to care about black people, but nobody replied. Majority of the folks over the organizations they sold out. Majority of them masons, they up in that Freemasonry and all up in um, that tied up in that type of stuff, man. So they're gonna listen to who they listen to. Separate yourself if you can. Clear yourself. Clear yourself, because the judgment of the Most High God is coming, and He's gonna execute His judgment upon upon all those who set themselves in enmity with uh his people all those who hate his people you ain't gonna make it in the kingdom hating nobody so as many christians who think they gonna make it to the kingdom of heaven who run around here talking about killing some niggas you know what i'm saying they think they christians man and ain't nobody done nothing to these jokers they just scared you feel me and 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 the media pumping and using their fear to manipulate them all this is sorcery all this is witchcraft if people sit here and try to act like this ain't mystery babylon then then it's tied to babylon so closely i can't tell the difference you understand what I'm saying? The most I'm going to judge this place. All right, so uh, I already mentioned all that. I think I need to mention in regards to that. You know what I'm saying? But the yoke is coming up off our people neck. And they might try to force it down and send messages and do what they do. It is what it is. We can't fear. Time of Jacob trouble, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's a time for everything. And as our Lord and Savior told the disciples, man, you know, two swords. Sell your coat, your cloak. Get a so, you know, it is what it is. May the Most High guide you and direct you in all things. We ain't trusting in nothing like that. We ain't trusting in no swords. But we know and respect the time when we got to respect the time we in. Move with precision. Move with caution. Move with love and the utmost respect. Be wise as a serpent. Harmless as a dove. Do what you have to do to protect your family. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to, man, we got to take care of each other. You know, we're going to have to take care of ourselves and households, and that's why I believe it's important for us to get our households right right now. Take care of your household. Take care of your children. Take care of your wife. You know, get your house in order. Why? Because you finna have to be a blessing to others. You feel me? And many people are going to shun us away and rush, brush us off. You know what I'm saying? The believers out here, man, there's going to be so much that go on, and that's who's going to be the target. Ultimately, believers. So, Jacob, if you a believer too, man, twofold. But trust in the most high God. He got us. All praise and glory, honor be to him. He's going to deliver us with a mighty hand, mighty stretched out arm, amen. For surely the right hand of the Most High God, a higher, do it valiantly, amen. And we shall do valiantly. Through a higher God, we shall do valiantly. For he shall tread down our enemies. So sit back, all right, and watch the salvation of the Lord, amen, amen. Shalom, y'all be blessed. Yeah.